Hey guys, what's up? I to Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next base destruction video, and in this one, I'm showing uh, an enemy base actually, the Town Hall Nine that took four hits to three star. Uh, so pretty good job by this guy. His base worked out pretty nicely. Um, so let's take a look at the base, where things are, and what it's trying to defend against. So I actually, through all four attacks, we only know where two of the giant bombs are. There's a double set right in here. Uh, kind of by the Tesla, a diagonal one between the Tesla and the cannon. So kind of a tricky spot there. You wouldn't expect it to be there, uh, but it works out pretty nicely and has a little a bit of a Tesla farm kind of by the wizard tower at three o'clock. Um, so pr pretty loaded on the bottom right here as far as all his defenses go. And then I'm not exactly sure where the last two giant bombs are. They could be singles, they could be doubles, but they were just never revealed in the four attacks probably because um, three of them were mostly air attacks. But anyway, um, the main problem with this base is that, uh, look at these three air defenses. You have one there, one there, and one there. They can all be uh, taken out by a queen walk. Uh, if someone walks the queen in to this compartment, she has access to this one, obviously to this one, and then even to this one. Uh, plus, she can get great value. She can probably take out most of these Teslas, the wizard tower, um, another sweeper so the queen can get great value coming in there and you can either do drags or la loot on the backside so that's actually what most attackers did on this base um, except for the first one so the first one um, I forget who it was I'll we'll see in, as soon as I show the attack but I forget who the attacker was but anyway uh, what he did is he came in here with the queen walk as we thought would happen but instead he decided to use hogs on the back side of this base so the queen comes in, uh, takes out you know these defenses, uh, takes out the Tesla farm for the most part. She actually ends up walking out this way, um, just because after that compartment was cleared out, she kind of got pulled off by all the trash buildings over there. So she does walk out, but anyway, she got pretty good value for him. Then he comes in with uh, two golems, the king, and some wizards. But the problem is, um, for whatever reason, the kill squad kind of messes up. The king starts walking over here. He does have a few wall breakers, so the king does get in here. He takes out the enemy queen, almost gets the enemy king, but I don't think he quite gets him, if I remember correctly. And then the problem is he spent like four healers, two golems, so he's investing a lot of troop space other than his hogs. So by the time he actually does use hogs, um, he doesn't have that many. I think he only has like 12 or something. So he comes in here. Uh, you know, starting to sprinkle them in, get a few defenses. They do go across this double set because the queen does not eliminate it. So uh, three or four hogs get blown up there. And then he gets that part of the base taken out for the most part, but there's still this area up here and he only has like three hogs left. So just kind of runs out of juice. Uh, didn't get much value for his golems or his king. So I think that was the main story there. Uh, the king went down very early, but anyway, we'll take a look at the attack and then we'll go back and see what the next attacker did. All right, so here we go with the attack. We have, it was Yaji. Okay, Yaji or Yaji, however you say it. Um, going in against number 21, and like I said, does a nice job creating the funnel for the queen walk. Um, everything is going nicely here, getting a few defenses. And then in just a moment, he'll break in with the wall breakers. Um, as you can see, he, had, he has 16 hogs, so a little more than I thought, but um, that's not a whole lot. And the, the main story is his kill squad does not get enough of the base taken out. The king, the two golems, doesn't get much value for them. So anyway, we'll see that in just a moment, but comes in here with the giant, the tank, a few wall breakers, um, everything's going great so far, uh, takes out Skelly Trap over there. Um, that wizard does go down, but the queen, the queen's gonna funnel herself in uh, just by that air defense, it'll pull her in. Uh, so right here, she turns the corner, takes out that mortar, then enters the base. Now that air defense does get a few shots off on the healer, and right there, that one healer does go down. That happened on a lot of these attacks, actually because uh, a lot of people, I think every person did the same queen walk, so lost the healer there, but no big deal, the queen steps up, takes out the Tesla, wizard tower, so getting a lot of defenses taken out, um, and then as here comes the CC troops, which I forgot to mention, is two balloons, some minions, and a witch, so that rages up the queen, maybe didn't need that rage, but you know, the CC troops are coming out, it helps just ma make sure the queen stays up, but the balloons do go down pretty easily, and then the queen, uh, or, the, or the poison takes out the witch. So queen just keeps taking out these defenses. 
right here are the golems uh, a few minions creating the funnel a few wizards on the other side um, I'm not sure what exactly the plan was uh, you can see the queen like I said takes um, kind of a walk and goes around to the outside up top but that's no big deal it's fine uh, she'll get the test the farm taken out uh, but right here wall breaker is in but there's no defenses for the golems to go to so they just get stuck on the walls the king kind of goes off to, to the other side and for whatever reason he has a few extra wall breakers which go down right there so the king is able to get through the wall pretty quickly uh, pops the ability the, the queen goes down uh, so got her taken out at least but these two golems didn't get, mu get much value um, they kind of get this roasted right here so comes in with the hogs and like I said only has 16 hogs so has to use most of them just to get in here and take out uh, these defenses that one heal was a little bit too far up but a few hogs do get the value of it and then coming in with some more hogs just to reinforce but like I said that double giant bomb spot is still up so um, he'll deploy a few more hogs they'll uh, take out the Tesla drops that next heal for them has no choice really at this point um, they take out that Tesla and then right here uh, they hit the double giant bomb spot so only loses like two hogs but um, the cannon goes down to like one swing like I said though three hogs left but still has a group of defenses plus the enemy king still up um, has that jump which I guess was for the golems but never ended up getting used because the golems kinda never entered the base to begin with so he uses the jump for his queen which is actually a pretty good adjustment but just has no time left we'll fast forward because has those last three hogs which I think he drops in they go down and then the queen is just by herself and no time to do anything so nice try to Yaji uh, good queen walk just couldn't quite get the value from his kill squad um, but we'll take a look at the next few attacks and see what was changed so the next three attackers all have the same opening pretty much uh, same queen walk they come in here um, create the final let the queen walk on in and the difference is kinda of what they do after the queen walk so they're all doing a dragon attack they realize the queen can get a few air defenses taken out with her walk what the first two attackers do or let's just start with the first one uh, he takes out these two air defenses with the queen and then as we've seen the queen instead of taking out this one uh, this trash outside pulls her out so she walks he zap quakes this one and then at the bottom here has a golem uh, king few wizards to try to let the golem and the king get in here and take out this air defense but uh, the king ends up walking around that air defense doesn't go down and that's basically what breaks the attack there's still an air defense left so when he sends in the dragons they get shot down by the air defense because um, when you use dragons you basically have to have all the air defenses taken out or at least you know a good plan but the air defense uh, stayed up and it ended up ruining the attack the next attacker does the same thing uh, still zap quaking this one having the queen take out oops having the queen take out these two um, and does let the golem and the king that is successful they do take out this air defense so all four air defenses do go down uh, but he doesn't have a whole lot of troop space for dragons because he has the golem the healers for the queen the wizards just doesn't have enough dragons and they they get in here they take out the queen but there's the two expos um, there are a few archer towers the wizard towers and the dragons kind of peter out he gets like 97 percent but just doesn't have enough dragons and they take a while to move around not enough firepower to get it done so what the last attacker ends up doing is it's our number 32 I believe Taya and uh, he comes in here uh, but the difference is zap quake this air defense at the bottom here and then drops the king right here so the king takes out all this trash so when the queen comes in nothing's gonna pull her out the mortar the drill that's all down so the queen uh, just takes out these two air defenses right here and then because that trash has been taken out she steps up and gets this third air defense so same thing all four air defenses going down but this way no golem has to be brought uh, a lot less troop space to get those four air defenses therefore Taya can bring way more dragons so just loads up the side with dragons they get in here take out the queen and because there's so many of them uh, they burn through the base pretty quickly and have plenty of time to get the three star so we'll take a look at these three attacks I'll kind of fast forward to the beginnings because they are pretty similar but uh, we'll see how the difference was made to get the three star alright here we go with the um, the second attack on this base which is Darth Nubis who's uh, the first one to try 
uh, dragon attack. So coming in here, creating the funnel, we'll fast forward a little bit. Because uh, that's the same queen walk. Queen goes down, healers on her, um, uses a few minions to kind of break the funnel, sends those wall breakers in, and uh, oh, forgot to mention, has kind of a wall breaker fail, uh, but has enough uh, extra wall breakers to let the queen on in. However, now he doesn't have any wall breakers uh, to let the king in. You can see at the bottom there, like I said, has the golem and the king, but only has one wall breaker, so that's part of the problem why his king isn't going to enter the base. But anyway, poison for the CC troops, I'll fast forward, drops the rage, queen takes all of that out, she gets the second air defense, then right here, um, the golem goes to the mortar, the wizards are trying to create the funnel, but there's, there's no way for the king to really go in here, the funnel's not wide enough for him to beat on the wall. Uh, the queen goes down up top right here, she's taking a lot of damage, I think he misses the ability too. So yeah, misses the ability, the queen goes down, drops the dragons that he does have, and drops the king down. Uh, but right here, the king's going to walk to the elixir storage, so he's not going to get in there and take out the air defense. There's still the air defense up, plus doesn't have that many dragons. Uh, so you can see that queen doing some work on the dragons. They do get in and take her out, drops in the CC dragon. We'll fast forward because the dragons make their way around, but there's still that air defense up, the expos, just too much damage, the dragons go down and that kind of ruins the attack. So we'll take a look at the other two attacks, see the differences that were made, and then we'll see the Taya's three star at the end. All right, so here we go with the third attack done by Nate right here. Um, he's coming in with the same opener. I already talked about it before. Queen goes down, uh, just drops a wizard instead of the minion, but the queen takes all that out, drops the wall breakers to let her in. Same stuff pretty much, giant to tank. Um, and she makes her way in. Once again, the air defense locks onto a healer and takes it out. So, so far, no one's been able to design a way to stop the healers from going down. But not that big of a deal. Pops the ability. She takes out the CC troops. Gets in there. Gets both the air defenses. Uh, but now comes in here. No wall breaker fail. So the king and golem are going to make their way in. Uh, it loses a few wizards. Maybe brought a few too many wizards. Just because those two kind of went down for no reason. Uh, but wall breakers in and then the king uh, looks like he's going to walk at first when he drops him has a lot of wizards but just the funnel's not cr quite made correctly so the, the king does walk and we'll fast forward a little bit because the king makes his way back in eventually the golem the wizard the king they all get that air defense taken out the queen is beating on a wall over there but look only has five dragons and they're all kind of spread out so they do get picked off has the rage they do take out the queen pretty quickly but like I said, those expos are still up. There's still a lot of HP in the area. They're stuck on that town hall and hitting a few black bombs that were put over there. So the dragons are kind of going to peter out. I'll go times two here. Uh, the queen is still up, but there's some walls in her way. The king is still up, but like I said, there's also some walls in his way. And the dragons are pretty slow, and they are going down. The defensive king is kind of tanking for the, for the expo a little bit. And uh, right here... That cannon is still up, so we can't really drop the wizards. He tries to, but the cannon takes out all his wizards, and then he just runs out of time uh, because the dragon's too slow and the heroes are stuck on walls. So, very good try, just couldn't quite get it. Let's take a look at the final three star. Okay, so we have Taya taken on. Ta I don't know, I'm sorry, I, maybe I'm messing up the name, but it looks like Taya to me. Uh, coming in here, and number 32, so pretty low level heroes. Still gets the job done, though, so pretty impressive. Uh, let's see what the difference was. Comes in with the queen, same queen walk, everything's making its way in. Drops the wall breakers, lets the queen on in. Has to drop the rage a little bit earlier, but right here, the king taking out those trash buildings is the difference because he's going to basically prevent the queen from walking out like she did in all other three attacks. Um, Zap quakes the bottom air defense, like I said, so it goes down, but now because all that trash has been cleared out, the queen will step up and take out all three air defenses instead of just the two. Um, so I'll fast forward, the king goes down, but he did his job, took out the trash, comes in with the dragons already, and look how many more dragons. What's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dragons, uh, plus the max one from the CC, so has a level five dragon in there as well, and the balloons uh, coming in, so a lot more of an air force coming in. The queen is staying in there and pops the ability in just a moment, She'll take out a few Teslas, so it gets pretty good value for his queen. 
But look at that. The entire base on that side has been destroyed by those dragons. I think the queen, uh, yeah, she does get that last air defense, like I said. So three air defenses from the queen is the difference here. And uh, plenty of time to get this uh, thing taken care of. I'll fast forward because this one's over. Awesome adjustment by Taya to use the king to clear out that trash. Let the queen stay in and get those air defenses taken out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like this series. Uh, the small changes are what make the difference. So hopefully you guys can use that when you're doing a cleanup attack in your own wars. I'll see you guys later though. Bye, set the trend out.